and for Israeli security forces, another deepening challenge in the West Bank, growing violence by extremist elements in the settler community. Now, the police in Shin Bet are still investigating Friday's attack by mass settler extremists against Palestinians and Israeli peace activists near the village of Burin outside Nablus. And now, another potential flashpoint. The IDF has put up demolition notices at the unauthorized hilltop outpost of Givat Ronen, where the Burin assailants are believed to have come from, announcing plans to evacuate and demolish the structures there within three days. And with me in studio is Colonel in the IDF Reserves, Olivia Rafowitz, Senior Security and Military Consultant, and a fellow at the Jerusalem Institute of Strategy and Security. And Olivia, maybe this is one of the most difficult in some ways tasks for the IDF and the security forces having to deal with these Israeli civilians who have cross the line, and we could be looking at a nasty confrontation in the coming days. You are totally right. They really crossed the line, and they're actually behaving as almost uh, almost terrorists. Uh, it's totally uh, impossible to accept as a state of law, and the police, the military, but most of all the Shin Bet are now in charge of dealing with this uh, issue, because we remember a long time ago, there were groups of extremists Israeli in the West Bank, who actually uh, did terrible things and actually uh, provoked or could have provoked a reaction from Palestinians and then just uh, to ignite uh, like a, a big fire by uh, this, uh, this behavior. So we have to be in Israel at the military level, but most of it at the political level, very, very uh, cautious not to give them the impression that they can do whatever they, can, they would like to do because they are Jews. Right. But I mean, you bring up a good subject because at the political level, it's very tricky. There are certainly members of the government, including Prime Minister Bennett, who are sympathetic to the settlement movement as a whole while, con while condemning the acts of these extremists. Uh, but again, some of that spills out into some fierce political debate that also just has a potential of inflaming the situation. Between uh, you and me and... Uh of course, the, the viewer, I don't think that it is a, a, a prime minister issue. Uh, Mr. Bennett is very encouraging uh, people to settle in the West Bank uh, according to the law. But it's only according to the law. If people don't behave according to the law, they are actually people against the law, against the military, against the police, and they make terrible mistakes. For this subject, I think the Prime Minister, even if it's from the Yamina party, which is a, a, a right-wing uh, party encouraging people to, to, to establish uh, settlements in the West Bank, they will not give them green light and they will oppose them with the police, with the Shin Bet, uh, because it's a very, very dangerous process, and we have to stop it right now. Right, and uh, of course, uh, Defense Minister Benny Gantz is the one who has the authority to issue, for example, those demolition orders that we saw against this uh, give out Ronan um, uh, uh, settlement, and it's going to be his difficult job to see that it's carried out. Yes, but there is a kind of uh, consensus at the uh, government level to do and, to, and to, uh, to carry out the decision by the uh, Ministry of Defense and by the Army to demolish these houses from the Givat Ronen uh, 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 non-legal uh, settlement. And by the way, we know that the people who just uh, uh, did what they did a few days ago against uh, Jewish uh, left members of some groups and other and burned a car were part of this specific uh, settlement, not legal settlement, give out her name. So I believe that it will be carried out with reaction, but the reactions are, uh, uh, are uh, uh, naturally uh, uh, um, uh, right. expressed in the last two weeks, and uh, they are supported, by the way, by other uh, political parties from the opposition, mostly uh, the party of, uh, of uh, Smotrich. Right, the religious Zionist Correct. party, we should say some, but okay. But, we, but again, there has been condemnation specifically across the political spectrum of this. Olivia Rafowitz, uh, thank you for joining us on The Rundown. Thank you. And moving